O'Neill Sullivan wins the lag. Okay. O'Sullivan versus Selby. 20 second shot clock in operation. Let the shootout begin. Amazing to pitch these two against each other, Phil, when the draw came out. The break-off shot from Ronnie, though, is not perfect. There's a chance here. Oh, he's caught it far too thin. Oh, dear me. O'Sullivan had an early chance in each of his previous two matches here. And he's got an immediate chance in this one. Yeah, it was one of those for Marcel. We had to go for that, really. It was on. He just caught it too thin. But this could be one to savour. Remember their classic UK Championship semi final? Eight. Mike that came down to eight frames each. O'Sullivan in the decider. A small matter of a one four seven. Nine. Hmm. Why not? That's okay. He's got the red to the centre. Sixteen. Looking at one now to the opposite centre, actually. Seventeen. This is a definite early chance. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Of course, in the first round, when O'Sullivan made 113 break, the highest of the tournament so far. His poor opponent, Marco Fu from Hong Kong, had precisely one shot. So far in this 27. frame, Selby has had that attempted red. 28. Well, he's got a perfect angle on the pink here, just to nudge those two reds open, push one towards the right corner. Chose to go into them. Well, it's not bad. Maybe it's slightly better. Still has this one across the table. Well, bang in the middle. Didn't touch the sides. He's queuing superbly. Well, I was about to say that this table will really suit him. Being so responsive, but I've seen him play magical snooker on really slow tables as well. I think every table suits him when his head's on square. It's got to be said, uh, Phil, the conditions, playing conditions, have been absolutely superb, haven't they? The cloth, you know, the table's got faster and faster as the weekend has gone on. Combined with a packed house all weekend, great atmosphere. That's what these boys love. They love to respond to that. Just look at that arena. Wonderful. No need for O'Sullivan to rush, just play it a natural rhythm. Natural for him is rushing for the rest of them. 55. Many theories on how best to win in this particular form of snooker, but when your opponent's not at the table, you can't win. 56. If it's one visit, 70, 80, 90, or even a ton like he made the other day, his opponent, Mark Selby, here, can, you can do nothing about it. He went for the red, missed it, and now he's had to stand there and watch the rest. Will he get another chance? 60. He's looking at the red just right to the pink. He's checking whether he's gone far enough. I think 63. he's just got there. Already the break goes to 63. 
64. You just don't fancy Mark getting another chance here. You think that Ronnie's going to do the damage, especially if he gets good position on the next red from this black. And I think both reds go to this corner as well. Well, I think frame is over. One visit. Shot clock in operation. Was enough. One, two matches here, Mark Selby, but this afternoon might well go from hero to zero, literally. Well, let's put it this way. We're not quite sure how he was playing, Mark Selby. We haven't seen anything. I mean, no disrespect to him, but this is superlative stuff from Ronnie O'Sullivan. And this is what the crowd have come to see, of course. 86. He is a massive 87. box office draw in the world of snooker, this man. There's no denying his talent. Could we see a century? Could we see a total clearance? 93. 94. We had the first century in the tournament. We haven't seen a full clearance yet, have we? Position. Can he pop this in and get onto the green? Go on, get it. He's stroking them in. Absolutely stroking them in. Good. 114. Possible 136 on. Well, this packed house here. Blackpool Arena, Tower Arena, came here to see this man and he has not disappointed. There's never been anyone quite like him. In the sky shootout, the rocket is in the stratosphere.